In this video, I'll show you how to use Scarcity Samurai's fixed date multi-page wizard to set up a campaign designed around a specific end date. For instance, you may wish to have a special deal on your product, in which you offer the product for a 50% discount for one week, after which the special deal is no longer available. So here I am in the admin area of my WordPress site. To get started, I'll come across here and click the Scarcity Samurai button in the sidebar, which will open up the Scarcity Samurai dashboard. Under the Campaign Wizards heading, you'll see a number of options. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose the Fixed Date Multi-Page Wizard. This wizard allows me to add scarcity elements to a number of pages, which the user will visit over a few days, with the pages expiring at a specific time, no matter when a customer first visits my page. This fixed date campaign is set in motion when I send an email to my list with links to my pages. The first thing I need to do is name my campaign. This can be anything that helps me keep track of my campaigns. It's not something that will be shown to visitors to my site. I'll enter my special offer funnel for now, and then I go over here and click continue. Next, the wizard asks me to select the pages I want in my campaign. The first page you need to select is your squeeze page. This page will have an opt-in form that you created using your email provider. If you've already created this page, select it from the list. Or you can create a new page by clicking create new page. For this example, I'm going to use an existing page called my opt-in page. Now we can choose to add content pages to the sequence, but this is optional. You might like to give the users some content before sending them to a sales page. So you would select those pages here or click create new page. For this example, I'm going to add two content pages. The first one being an existing page called content one and a second page called content two. Finally, we need to select our sales or offer page, which will contain our sales message. This is usually the page that will contain your scarcity banner and it's the last page in the sequence. I'm going to go ahead and choose an existing page called My Offer Page, and then click Continue. Now I need to select how long my special deal will be available for. I want my special offer to expire at noon on the 31st of March this year. So I'll go ahead and select the 31st, March, and 2013. As this is a fixed date expiry, I also need to select the time zone that applies to the offer. Once I have done this, I need to decide what will happen when the timer reaches zero. By default, do nothing is selected. This means that once the timer reaches zero, the user will stay on the expired page indefinitely, with the counter showing zero. Redirect to a page will take the user to another page on your WordPress site when the counter reaches zero. You can either select an existing page or create a new one. The redirect to URL option will allow you to redirect the user to any URL you specify. For this example, I'm going to send the user to a page called Offer Expired when the page expires. And then I'll click Continue. Now it's time to set up how the scarcity banner will be displayed on the screen. If you choose In the Header, the banner will be displayed at the top of the screen. If you choose in the footer, the banner will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. If you choose no banner, the page won't have a banner at all. Your scarcity timer will still count down and your page will redirect after the counter reaches zero. However, the timer won't be visible as there's no banner displayed. I'm going to select in the footer as I want the banner on the bottom of my page. Next up is the type of banner to be displayed. You can either use the default banner or a banner you've created yourself using the Customize Banner link. I'm going to use a banner I created earlier called My Banner. Finally, we can choose what happens when the user clicks on the banner. Do Nothing means that there will be no change when the user clicks on the banner. Go to Page will redirect the user to an existing or new page on your WordPress site. And the Go to URL option will send the user to a URL that you specify. I'm going to choose to send users to a page called Buy Now. And then I'll come over here and click Finish. You should now see a page which means that the wizard is complete. 
the scarcity samurai side of things is all done. Now in order to make the whole system work, we just need to make three small changes to our autoresponder system. For this example, we'll show you how to do it using Aweber. So here I am in Aweber, and you can see that I've selected the list that people will be signing up to when they fill out the opt-in form on my squeeze page. The first step is to come up here to the My Lists menu and select the Custom Fields option. Then I need to add a custom field and label it Token. And now I can click the Save button. The second step is to come across here to the Web Forms tab. And now I'll select the form that was on my opt-in page. The third step is to update the opt-in form code on my WordPress blog. To do this, all I have to do is come up here and click the Publish option. Next, I'll choose the I will install my form option, and then select the raw HTML version. Now I can just come down here, select all, and copy it to my clipboard. Next, I'll come back to my WordPress website, find the code for my old opt-in form, and update it with the code for my new opt-in form. So just to clarify, I'm overwriting the old opt-in form code with the new code I just generated using Aweber. And that's it. I've now connected my Scarcity Samurai Evergreen funnel to my autoresponder. The final step is to update my autoresponder sequence with the special links that point to my Evergreen campaign pages. To obtain these special links, all I need to do is click All Campaigns in the Navigation panel then I can select the My Evergreen Funnel campaign, and now here you can see the links that I need to insert into my autoresponder sequence. This link points to my opt-in page, this link points to my first content page, this link points to my second content page, and this link points to my offer page. Once you've updated your autoresponder sequence with these special links, you'll be all done. Let's see how it all works. Here I am on the opt-in page, and when I enter my name and email address, and then click Get Access Now, you'll see that I'm redirected to the first content page of the campaign. This has now kicked off the campaign, and everything that happens from now on in the campaign is relative to the time and date of this opt-in action. If we fast forward a few days, you'll see that my personalised email offer is now in my email inbox. If I open the email and click the link, I'll be taken to the offer page, which clearly shows exactly how much time I have remaining to claim the offer. If we fast forward another two days, we'll see that I'm in the final seconds of the offer, and that I'm redirected to another page telling me that my offer has closed, and I won't be able to get the deal anymore. If you have any problems with this process, Please don't hesitate to contact our support team at noblesamurai.com slash c slash support.